Hi everyone, um, today we have a video about spatialized sound in Unity. I invited a dear friend, Donald, who is a Unity programmer. Donald, say hi. Hi everybody. Um, he is the best at what he does and I love his work and he's today going to talk with us a little bit about sound in Unity and spatialized sound in Unity. Um, so let's get started. Hi Donald. Hi, Nir. Thanks for having me. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Thanks for, for, for coming in. Um, so, yeah, when talking about unity and spatialized sound, first of all, I guess that in terms of, like, if we are talking about game development, so there isn't really spatialized sound, right? There's just sound within the space, and then it's spatialized because of the movement of the player. So it's more of, like, organizing sound, right? So yeah, uh, Unity has a built-in spatializer that is based off of a program called FMOD, which I'm going to go into a little on sort of just like how to use FMOD and what it, what it can do, because it's a pretty powerful program. But Unity's integrated FMOD spatializer into Unity. So as you're moving objects in space in Unity, it is making those calculations to attenuate the sound in different ways. For sure, and we will get into F mode in details in just one second, but I do want to touch the question of um, inserting spatialized sound in Unity, like working, um, just I guess a general advice of is it possible, and also would you recommend like recording or designing spatialized sound in Unity? It really depends on the project. Um, if you have a uh, you know pre-recorded video without interaction or you know something like that, um, I'd recommend doing the spatialized sound in Facebook Audio, for instance, yeah. and then using a plugin like uh, AV Pro Video, which is kind of the the gold standard um, for video players in Unity. And that plugs right into it, and it's super simple. Uh, we can go into that as well, if that'll be useful. Cool. Um, so should we start with FMOD, maybe? Um, let's do just a quick rundown of what Unity is doing already. Cool. And, and we'll get into FMOD, because it's a, adding a layer of complexity that could be useful for some projects, um, but maybe not all. Awesome. So, um, so let's get right to it. I have Unity open here, and I've got a mostly empty project. I've imported a couple sounds. These are the same sound, just at different notes, different frequencies. Mm -hmm. um, and I've added a couple cubes, and added an audio source to each cube. Now to do that, all I did was highlight all three cubes, holding shift, add component. I typed in Audi, it started suggesting stuff, and I clicked on audio source. So, these cubes exist in space, and on the main camera, we have an audio listener. The main camera is where the viewer is located in this space. Yeah. So you can see in the camera preview that we, as we get closer to this, if this cube was playing a sound, we'd expect it to get louder. Yeah. Uh, as we move past these two cubes, we'd expect this cube to play mostly in the left ear and this cube to play mostly in the right ear. Mm -hmm. So on our audio source on the cubes that we added, we can click here and select any sound that we've put in the project. The project yeah. I've got this selected to play on awake, meaning when this object becomes active, for instance, at the, when we hit play, it'll start playing. And I'm going to have it loop the sound just for demo purposes. Yeah. So if we start playing, we will be hearing the sound from the main camera. So here. Great. And as we get further away, we should hear the sound receive. And last, we've got it set to 2D sound. Yeah, so part of the problem we're having is the spatial blend. 
as we added the audio source, is set to two-dimensional. So let's set all of these to fully three-dimensional sound. Mm -hmm. Now, two-dimensional sound is great for music, for a soundtrack, whatever. It stays the same volume wherever you are in relation to the audio source. We've got a couple other 3D sound settings down here. Let's get into those right now. Uh, we can control the roll-off for the sound, meaning how much it attenuates over distance. And max distance is the distance the sound stops attenuating at, meaning like you can't hear it after 500 meters or 500 unity units, which is generally considered a meter. You can select different options here. You can have a linear roll off. Yeah. Uh, perhaps we use that for uh, the demo here. Here we've got uh, this audio clip playing, audio source playing, and we have these two audio sources uh, not playing right now. So as we get closer, it'll get loud. As we get further away. We get some of that uh, distortion we might yeah. find with moving, and it starts getting much quieter. Yeah, we moved a lot, so I guess it's just in the settings we want to change the uh, the meters, right? Yeah. So instead of say 500 max distance, put we'll put five. five. Yeah. So this visualizes how far the sound can be heard at. And you can actually affect this if you want to, you can just drag this and say, okay, this is going to be heard in this area here. That's cool. So if we start playing now, we can barely hear it as we get closer. Great. So. If we were rotating the camera or if in VR the person with the, the audio listener on their VR ears were turning their heads, Unity automatically handles that 3D sound space. Uh, so in terms of the stereo effect of that, uh, that's just happening automatically. So uh, as I mentioned, the spatializer that Unity is using is created by a company, uh, FMOD, and it's just fmod.com. Mm -hmm. And this is an extremely powerful program for sound design. Uh, when you arrive, you have to create a free account. I'm already logged in. And then you want to head to the download page. You'll need two things. One, FMOD Studio, which is a standalone program where you're going to be doing most of the design. And two, the Unity integration package. You launch it up, it will look like this. Uh, so once you've got your assets loaded into your FMOD project, you will want to create an event. I'm just going to click over to the events tab, create a new 3D event, and I can actually get rid of the spatializer uh, if I want to use Oculus' Spatializer. Um, in this case, I'm not going to bother with that. Um, we're just going to create a new event. And in the examples that I was using, where I had recorded the same sound at a number of different frequencies. This was actually a waste of time. Uh, if I had been using FMOD, I could have done this a lot more simply. Let's take a mid mid range. Yeah, let's do that one. I'm just going to take this, and I've got my event selected over here, my new event. And I'm going to drag this sound into here. And you can create a number of different audio tracks here. You could uh, you can make this event play two sounds at once. So if I play the event now, and it goes like that, automatically stops the event when it gets to where the audio ends. Um, so you can do a lot of cool mixing stuff here. 
give a little hint of how powerful FMOD can be. If I wanted to take this sound and have it randomly attenuate the pitch, I can just, I've got this down here, and then this is the master track for this event. I'm going to right click on pitch, add modulation, and click random. And now I can have it randomly change the pitch by, say, 20 steps. So now if I play it, and as I reference this event from within Unity, it's going to automatically apply whatever modifiers I've done. So here you can also add things like, uh, you know, reverb. You can add uh, a number of really interesting effects. Uh, awesome use case scenario for this would be like footsteps. If you've got footsteps as your character is walking, players are going to get really tired of hearing the exact same footstep every time. Yeah. So in that case, you'd want to add some low level of randomization to the footsteps so it'd feel like a really kind of organic walking. In Unity, to integrate FMOD, come over to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and you've downloaded the FMOD Studio Unity integration. You're just going to open that up. It's going to think about stuff for a second. And then you're going to tell it to import everything. Uh, I've already imported everything. Yeah. But this is just all the stuff that's going to stick in your project. And you press import, yeah. Yeah. So there's a couple bits of setup to do before you can really start playing with FMOD. Uh, the first is to add a FMOD listener to your camera. And you can actually, if you're using FMOD, and you're not going to be using regular audio sources. So you can get rid of the general audio listener. Then instead of the audio source, we're going to be using the FMOD event emitter here. And all these options we have with this like audio source, those are all going to be done within FMOD. So the next bit of setup is to, we've got this new event. I'm going to call it the hit modulated. Next thing we have to do is assign it to a bank. Now, you can go further into banks if you have like a really complicated project. You know, maybe some banks you want to load on some levels and some banks other levels, whatever. We're not going to worry with that. But we've got it assigned to the master bank. We've got to save the project. Then we've got to build the project. And we've got to find the project that we just saved. So yeah, I think that was problem. in... General ideas, as you said, like we're saving it and then like every update that we're doing on FMOD, we press build and then it will automatically update on Unity if we import the FMOD project into Unity. Yeah. In some ways, allows us to split the work on our game to like the sound people can just work on FMOD and then uh, it's not that I'm putting the audio assets within unity and kind of like create some organization within within the project right again i've come to fmod edit settings that brought up this window this uh, menu this screen in the inspector and i browsed for the studio project path and i found finally the studio project path um so we're good to go so if i come over to this cube I can now, it's loaded in the hit modulated event that I just made. And I can just select that. And so now I have the option to choose when this plays. And it can be when the object is active, when something collides with it or enters its zone of influence, yeah. uh, trigger or collision. Uh, cool option. So we're just going to have it start when it starts. Yeah. And we could, in FMOD, even we can create a new loop region, which means it's going to play over and over again. 
attenuatingly, attenuating yeah. differently each time. So um, now I need to press build again in order for that to update on Unity. Good call. You so, see, I could be a programmer. You got it. You got it. So now if we hit play, we have the repeating event. We have the modulation. And we have the spatialized sound. Cool. And this is within the game engine, so it's all like game active and all that. Yeah. So FMOD, if I would like to summarize it a little bit, allows us to organize the sound and also separate to the sound design to work without getting into Unity. Um, but if we want to, like, let's say that we have something simple and small, we can still use Unity's uh, audio listener to create spatialized sound, but it's like a little bit more limited and can get chaotic if it's getting over like some big size. Yeah, and FMOD just adds a lot of really fine-tuned control. All right, great. This was AFMA, that was great, and I would like to maybe touch about, for those of us, which is probably the most of our students, um, people who are making spatialized sound and, and VR videos, 360 videos, and would like to insert their video with spatialized sound into Unity. How's that process goes? So, the absolute number one solution for this is AV Pro Video. It's available on the Asset Store. The entire thing is a little bit pricey, but it's absolutely worth it if you're going to be doing this kind of work regularly. Uh, it's updated all the time. It's really well supported. As you're saying, this is the high-end, the right way to do it, but for someone who doesn't want to pay for a player, is there an option, or you would like, dude, don't even deal with it it's not it, it, it's not worth it you can choose a facebook audio uh if you've integrated the facebook audio usually through oculus and the projects i work on um and you can choose that there um but for video projects av pro is really the way to go okay uh, a lot of this kind of cutting edge technology is still pretty janky and um it's built with experienced engineers in mind as users. Um, so especially for people learning, um, it, it is much more complicated than one might imagine. Yeah, well, it's great. I mean, it's I, honestly why we're doing this course because uh, there is a lot of things that are just like still super buggy or super techy. And I think we just want to know about like, okay, just just know that spatialized sound within Unity, it's not a plug and play. It's, it's, uh, you need AV Pro for it. So, Donald, thank you so much for this overview on Unity. Uh, if people want to see your work and hire you because you are the best Unity developer, I, I can tell you all that he is the guy that I'm hiring. Uh, where people can find you? Uh, donalddunbar.com D-O-N-A-L-D-D-U-N-B-A-R.com um, or donald.l.dunbar at gmail.com Awesome. Uh, Donald, thank you so much. <laughs>